In this morning's Health Watch, surviving cabin fever. The National Weather Service reports snow on the ground in every state except the state of Florida. And this time of year, many of us find ourselves cooped up inside for far too long. While psychologist and early show contributor Dr. Jennifer Hartstein is here with cabin fever symptoms and some solutions. Mm -hmm. And I guess this is a real issue, huh? It so is a real the, issue. For the people at home that thought this was just kind of a thing, right. what really is cabin fever? It's really another way of talking about the winter blues or seasonal affective disorder, but it's really that part of the year where we all are just feeling like the walls are closing in around us, we just need to get outside, we need more sun, and we're just stuck. It's kind of a mood-altering thing, though, too. I mean, it puts you in kind of a funk. It does put you in a funk, and there's some real things we want to think about when we are feeling this way. It can make us feel a lot of really negative things, similar to depression. Yeah. So we want to think about what those are. So we might really feel like we don't have any patience anymore. Yeah. We're really losing our patience with the people in our house, especially if there's a lot of you there. Sure. You might feel more fatigued or tired than you have in the past, and you really might be very unproductive and unmotivated, which is a challenge because it's going to keep you stuck in the house. It's just kind of basically a sign that, you know what, there's no sun out there. It's always cloudy and it just kind of dampens the mood. Right, and the it cold, it absolutely does for more people than we realize. And the truth is also the cold, you know, it's not just the lack of sunlight. You can go out on a cloudy day and that can really help you, but the cold also keeps you in and that's really another challenge. Okay, mark your calendars, folks. Only 65 days until spring, March 20th is the official date. So what do we do until then to kind of hold us over? There's a couple things you want to think about. So one of the first things you might want to start to do is shut off all the electronics in your house. I know that's hard to think about, but mm. decrease your screen time and then do things like lo look through all those magazines and newspapers that are piling up in the yep. corner. Really look at those books, play board games with your family, but do something that's more interactive or more stimulating of your brain than staring at the screens like we do all the time. So you think it helps to, to read some of the tabloids and see all these stars frolicking in St. Bart's and St. Lucia and these places? Well, what's <laughs> funny about that is just some, they have done some research that sometimes yeah. just thinking about a warm place might make you feel better. And there was a recent study that said being too sedentary isn't so great, so we want to get moving. Now, the winter also, uh, I think a lot of people decide it's too cold, don't feel like trudging to the gym and having right. doing this change of clothes and that change of clothes and bundle up so a lot of people aren't working out as much. Right. And as I just said, there's this study that said being too sedentary, even if you are working out, can actually be bad for your health. So get active at home. Yeah. We every, A lot of people have Wii's or Connects or all of these active you know, video games. Do those or even do a workout DVD. Something that's going to keep you moving, make that happen. That's important. And people actually do tend to be antisocial when it comes down to this too. So what would you recommend to people that they just want to stay home right. and well, not have any interpersonal contact. <laughs> exactly. And wouldn't you be not wanting to be with other people if you don't have any patience and you're feeling really irritable? Yeah. So have a cabin fever party or have a potluck and invite your neighbors to come over and spend some time with you. Biggest mistake that people make with this whole cabin fever thing? What do you think? They give in to it. They really allow it to take over. And what's going to end up happening is their depressive symptoms are going to get worse. Rather than looking at it as a positive, a girlfriend of mine said she looks at it as a solution. It's a time to get things done at home, spend time with her family, get organized, all that stuff. So how can you turn this negative into something more positive so that it works for you? And it would be nice if the weather would clear up a little. That enough would, enough of the snow. It would be great over. if we had control over that. We'll have to talk to Marisol to get her on it, and yeah. let's see what we can do. Some more good news with these weather patterns. Let's get that jet stream working in the right direction. <laughs> exactly. Doctor, good to see you. Good okay. to see you, too.